So, like I said in the previous Road to Alpha 2 video, that I couldn't fit all of the caravan information in, so I kind of condensed it down into solely just caravan information and took the PvP elements out of it. And in this video, that's what I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover every single thing to do with PvP and caravans, all in this one video. Without rambling on anymore, let's just jump right into the video and get amongst all the information Intrepid's dropped so far. So, when a caravan is launched, it will create an objective based PvP event. Players can then choose whether to join the attackers or the defenders or ignore it altogether. Players who choose to join the event will be flagged as combatants. When the UI pops up it will feature the caravan owner's name as well as the guild information. Two things affect the proximity at which the UI for the event will extend out, so basically how far players can be away from the event for it to show up to them. One of these components on the caravan Caravan. Yes, there will be certain components you craft and attach that will either increase or decrease the radius for the notification, which brings a lot of customization and control to the players yet again. And second is the player's progression in the Highwayman system. Now, the Highwayman system records your past caravan attacks and defences whether you succeeded or failed, so that the rewards scale based on your history. Some rewards you may get from succeeding in this include a higher radius in which you can be notified about these events, better equipment, faster ways to open crates, higher yield from crates, and better components for caravans for players who play as defenders. Which in essence, pre-Alpha 2 or going in Alpha 2, if this is in near the end or midway through i mean this is pretty vast and a nice system just for pvp i mean i can see a lot of strategy a lot of customization and a lot of fun content most of all but if you do join the defenders you will be able to see on the map as will the caravan owner and once registered as a defender you cannot switch to be an attacker for obvious reasons to like spy inside fuck people over deliberately kind of ruin a defense or an attack so like this makes total sense because it brings them all the jib PvP fight rather than some slimy underhanded tactics going on. So players are going to have symbols above the head to represent what team they're on and for the caravans these are going to include stuff like friendly defender, friendly attacker, enemy defender, enemy attacker so you'll kind of be able to click on who's who and what's going on a bit more. Another visual representation in the caravan system is the cargo on board said caravan and there will be visual hints to what is inside however you will not be able to see the exact contents and this visual representation is there even if the skin is applied to the caravan which is kind of good to know because i know i'd seen comments where if you apply a skin it'll look different you might not know and we've always been able to see what's getting transported to roughly kind of make an estimate of what's in that caravan it kind of makes sense do we attack that do we you know say we've got our own caravan like i previously said and we have a little bit of space and we see oh shit that's the resource we're carrying we could do with maybe hitting that caravan with them couple of guys there and taking that it's kind of worth the risk so it, it makes you decide whether you want to attack it you don't or if it's even viable or if it's even something you need so i really do like this i think it's really cool that they've implemented this and i would like to see how they advance in it a bit more so as well as that caravan events can include several caravans however all caravans must be in one event for the player to be able to take part in attacking it or defending them as a player can only take part in one caravan event at any given time now when attacking a caravan you can target certain parts of the caravan to destroy certain parts and if a caravan attack is successful the caravan is destroyed and the player will have to create a new one if certain components are destroyed they can be replaced with new ones once the caravan is safe within a node's anniversary caravan components will no longer drop on the floor though now this is quite cool because if say there's holders of your chest or summer you could destroy the holders the chest are gonna fall out potentially or, or maybe it'll have some effect and if not you could just hit the wheels take out the back wheels it's gonna slow it down potentially it might still function with two i'm not really sure how that'll work but maybe you take out all four wheels your caravan's kind of done so then at that point you just absolutely decimate it and i don't think there'll be enough time for them to recreate one and get it back out to pick the stuff i mean maybe the 
states maybe there will be insane strategies where people really hold out on caravans and they fight and defend it and new caravan comes they pick it up get it loaded again if you have a really solid defending side and uh, maybe weaker attacking side but like from all these things i've said from the previous if you haven't seen the caravan video and just for the pvp that's in it alone i mean this is an amazing content going back to games that were similar like archade i mean the pack system was cool but it was more like flag on so you literally couldn't attack if it wasn't in a state of war the zones you were in the areas i should say and it was quite boring at times and yeah there was some pvp but not really but the way intrepid's doing it is like so much exciting content and, and it brings so much diversity and where they talk about this dynamic world like this is it like this is total control for the players like it's our decision to do what we want and i mean these are random things that you're just going to see going on in the world that you can take a part in and, and just like randomly happens like you have no control of it they have no control of you could just bump into one of these things and decide let's hit it and also you never fucking know what's gonna happen you might just want to pv your balls off that day and really get out there and, and make some money and just want some peace because you've been having consistent pvp and this all goes tits up or maybe you'll get lucky one day and you'll have a quiet time and farm out shit loads and i think that's what brings the excitement to this game that's what's somewhat fresh and nice to see and honestly in my personal opinion and this is what MMOs have been missing and I cannot wait to get involved in it. Yeah, I, I really do like the direction as you can tell that the caravan system's going in. I don't know what you guys think, but personally the stuff they've added in here is a vast advancement on any other games that I've seen doing this and it is much, much better. Now, will it work perfectly? How buggy is it going to be? Well, we really don't know. We're going to have to get in Alpha 2 and really smash this out, like test it thoroughly, go hard at every system, try and break it all so they can fix any bugs and we can really get a solid caravan system in place for everything including the pvp now they are gonna have defensive abilities and that may be able to block stuff like projectiles from hitting the caravans and certain slowing abilities may be able to slow down the caravan depending on testing now as mentioned in the last video if the caravan's driver is killed anyone can drive it for 15 to 20 minutes after which the caravan will despawn and it will turn into a wreckage if they rage quit, that time is lowered to 5 to 10 minutes, and once the caravan has despawned, the cargo will be deployed onto the floor. Now, I don't think that's going to happen in my guild, definitely not, it's not something I'll be allowing to go on, but I do imagine some people who are getting hit hard or lost a few caravans over a few days, can't move resources, it's maybe slowing the progression or impeding them, or a bit annoying them for folk who aren't schooled in this type of PvP game. I imagine you're going to get a few smaller guilds, or maybe bigger guilds that just you know quit just log up and say i'm done i'm done you know you get this in games people rage quit i'm not sure entirely why they do but you know this happens often and i can guarantee when people are getting slapped or rival guilds or political wars are going on you will have people rage quit and as soon as they rage quit all you have to do is pretty much stand there loot up and jobs are good and and i do honestly think some people will deliberately do this so people just go oh if they don't rage quit they'll just leave and say it's pointless defending the caravan that out numbered that out skilled or that out gear scored or you know leveled or some or something along them lines so yeah this is definitely going to be intense some of the pvp but i genuinely think it's going to be really really fun and like steven says this game is not going to be for everyone it is more niche i think it's not as niche as folk think and i think it'll actually offer a lot more to a lot of player base maybe even dipping outside of your standard mmo players but i'm really happy to see these systems being placed being that i'm more of a hardcore pvp yeah and i think it's a nice balance between semi-hardcore to hardcore and i think it's fairly decent now when a caravan becomes a wreckage a portion of its cargo is deployed onto the floor and the rest is lost and no team gets it so there's also going to be no longer any type of insurance for caravans now originally we did think there was insurance i was a bit skeptical about that wasn't a big fan of insurance I, I don't really think there's any point in sending a caravan out and then saying oh well if someone destroys it i'm not going to lose out because you know it's insured and to me that defeats the whole point of risk worth reward because there's no risk really because you've insured it and you get your shit back or a good portion of that and i really think that's gonna diminish
diminish the reason for PvPing or people putting more effort in or being more tactical with the way they move the caravans and, and information and, and alliances and naps and other things. So I think this was a really good decision to not have um, some type of insurance in. So it's good to see when they do make a decision in development, they do think, actually, was this the right one? Do you know what? We've told everyone, no, let's change this. We, we need to tweak this. This isn't going to work. And, and, I, and I do like that to see an open development because they're, they're willing to say, do you know what? That's our bad. We'll maybe change this. We don't think it's for the best. Or maybe they've changed it for another reason, but that's my opinion on it for sure. You're also going to be able to tell the difference between what creates contain as commodity creates and marked with a green symbol and the material creates and marked with a black symbol. Anyone in the area can loot a caravan's wreckage, so do keep an eye out while looting. And to get the most value from looting, you want to transport these sealed crates and then sell them. However, you can unseal them, but you'll yield less. So all in all, when you wipe a caravan and you've maybe had this battle and it's an enemy guild and you know you're looting, as soon as that loot's on the floor, it's not good to go. You're not safe. It's not yours. Someone could then jump. They could come back to fight you for it again. So it's that consistent, like from start to finish, you don't know how it's going to play out. You need to keep on eyes. You need to have everyone in check. You need to be working fast to shuttle that out and get that out of there. Um, and I think that's nice. And then maybe if you don't think you're going to have time and you hear they're getting reinforcements and they're coming for you, crack them crates up and get minimized loot and, you know, get that shit out of there. Or double down and say, let's defend, get in defensive positions, take certain areas, choke points. Let's get this all out of here. We need this. This is a fat amount of loot. And I think it's pretty fucking awesome. So I really can't wait to get in there and just test this system over and over again and get some really good content and have some fun with it and yeah it's, it's definitely going to be you know just to think this is just one system in ashes and it is fucking insane like the amount of content in this alone is just loads of fun to be had so hopefully my previous caravan video and this caravan pvp video that's kind of got you fully up to date on the road to alpha 2 series getting ready for alpha 2 or trying to learn as much about the game as you can and kind of i haven't missed anything i don't believe i've missed anything but let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of this do you think it's a bit intense do you think it's not intense enough do you like this is there anything you think they've missed or you'd like to add drop it in the comment section below you know let's see if we can get them some good feedback i genuinely want to know other people's thoughts you might not agree with me and that's absolutely fine but it's nice to see how the community looks at things and what they're thinking about these systems and, and what Intrepid's doing. As well as that, if you could subscribe to the channel, I know a lot of new people are coming in watching and I know a lot of people aren't subbed. Really want to hit that 2 to 3k mark for Ashes Alpha 2. It's quite ambitious, like I said previously, but I, I really want to push hard and see what we can do. So hit that sub button, there's much more content coming. Hit that like button, feel free to give the video a share and I'll catch you in the next one and I appreciate you watching. As always, cheers.